the beautiful tri-state area of where Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia meet. It's easy to find on a map. And just inside of Kentucky is the city of Bensboro. It was started in the late 1880s and still thrives today. Now below my feet is an old trail come through here blazed by Daniel Boone called the Wilderness Road. And hundreds of thousands of people travel through here in the settlement of Kentucky and beyond. But this place holds a dark secret that nobody really knowed up to the last 20th century here that uh, they just really unraveling today. This place was formed by a meteorite from the outer reaches of space 300 million years ago. And that's what formed this basin that Minnesboro sits on today. Now everybody up on once in their life has seen a shooting star, a meteorite. They are a beautiful sight to behold coming through the Earth's atmosphere, burning up most of them. Now a meteor, if it's out in space, it's called an asteroid. But if it enters Earth's atmosphere, it becomes called a meteor. And it mostly burns up. But if the meteor does make it to the surface, it's called a meteorite. And these things can do some massive damage according on their size. They could be planet killers. Now these meteors, they can come in here running anywhere from 25,000 miles an hour up to 150,000 miles an hour. They can really move on. And when they hit Earth's atmosphere, it's according to the size of them if they burn up or don't. And if they don't, they turn into meteorites and they hit the Earth's surface like this right here. Could be devastating. But this has happened hundreds of times over their history. The theory goes that a big asteroid come into Earth's atmosphere and destroyed all the dinosaurs. They're not sure on that, but that's the theory. Now the one that come in here and hit Minnesboro and formed a crater which the city sits up on today is here's what it done right here. Here's the size of it, the impact. You can see in the red and the yellow here, the impact zone of Minnesboro Basin. And when it hit, it probably looked like this at first. After it cooled down, everything settled down, it probably looked like this. This is the one in Arizona. And it probably took some time to cool down. This is what it probably looked like, trying to cool down and all this heat over time. Now here's the affected area of Minnesboro itself. Here in the yellow circle. This is the crater site, the actual site that the geologists think that happened. And this is probably what it looked like after it cooled down, settled, and started all the water draining out of the mountains into it. Probably looked something like this. It became a big lake. And this big lake filled up big, quick, out of these mountains. And it had to drain somewhere. And the theory was it drained through Cumberland Gap. And if it did, if that theory is correct, that had to be one spectacular waterfall right here going through the gap and draining out through Gap Creek. That may have formed a basin of Gap itself. Now here's about what the lake looked like. As water piled up, it drained out 
Gap Creek over into Cumberland Gap. But as time went on, water finds a path of least resistance. It eventually cut itself a path down Yalla Creek going towards Pineville and hit the Cumberland River. And it lowered itself down to what it probably is today as erosion took place. Now, back when they first started mining the area, they just cut the face of a mountain out and mined the seams. Well, as time went on, technology advanced, they started core drilling down in the rock. What seams of coal was down there, what mineral deposits. And this is where they started developing these funny formation and fault lines. Now, here's some of the different meteorites from around the world. All different shapes and sizes, different materials. Now this meteorite, this is a rock found right in the heart of Minnesboro. This was found at the Country Club. Minnesboro Country Club, this is a meteorite. And right here is the location of Minnesburg. It is the only city in the U.S. that is built in a crater. And the only place in the world where coal is mined from a crater. And this place is surrounded by the Cumberland Gap National Park. It's a beautiful park, but it surrounds Minnesboro mostly. The old Minnesboro, nobody knowed about this till probably 50 years ago. Scientists still determine what really happened and what really going on here. But the old town is still, it still lives on. It's been here for 140 years, here about. It is a really nice community. Now, the earth's been hit by hundreds of these things over time, thousands. But we don't know which one. May be one tomorrow, may not never see another one. But they're out there. And who knows? One may even have our earth's name on it. Only the good Lord knows that secret. So let's hope that this never happens to our planet Earth. But I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little documentation. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.